This is what I use when I have to drill a lot of metal. I gotta go 32 holes in quarter inch steel. So what you're looking at here is two different drill bit sizes. That way I can do my pilot and then my thicker one. And then water, I keep that handy so that I can dip my bits in it. That way I keep my bits cold. They keep the sharp edge longer. A lot of people say use WD-40. I like water, I've used them both. Uh, WD-40 seems to get into the chucks and lube everything up that I don't want to have lube. The water just keeps the metal cool, keeps the metal getting cut. Inevitably they will get dull, so I keep my grinder ha handy. And what I'll do is I'll just grind the edges down, sharpen the blades back up, and get back to drilling. Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin. Part two, how to build a cage. Let me show you around and I'll show you how we're getting this thing done. A couple things you'll notice. That's the base. I will be drilling a hole right here and right here. And drilling some more holes here and here. And that will be what stabilizes the cage. You'll notice the doors over here. I'll show you how this works. Kind of like a, I don't know, barn door latch or something like that for a fence. But they sell these at Home Depot. So you can just lock yourself in the cage, let yourself out of the cage. Same thing, went and got hinges from Home Depot welded those on. This cage has got some bull horns on it right now. You might be wondering what those are. Eventually I will take a 90 degree off that and then a rubber band straight down and that's where the double end bag will go. So you'll be able to stand about right here and hit those double end bags. You can see we kind of have the shore side. If you remember right, I had those at 42 inches. I had this side at 89 inches, another 42 inch, and then 101 inches right here. It's kind of what it looks like inside, so you kind of get a feel for how much room I would have. If I was fighting someone, they'd be over at the other end. My back foot is against this side. There's the door side. Once again, my back foot's against this door, the opposite side of the door. And that kind of gives you a feel for how much room. It's not the biggest cage, of course. I built it to fit in the back corner of my gym. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, I still have a lot of work to do. I've got to get the chain link in. I've got to get the pads. There'll be big pads going right here. Kind of like a turnbuckle pad on every corner. So I gotta get the pads built, I gotta get the chain link in. I gotta clean up and paint. There's still a lot of rust on this metal. So clean up, paint, drill holes in the base, chain link, build the pads, put a new pad down in the gym. So it'll be padded in here. We'll get the wrestling mat down and the wrestling mat cover. And uh, those are the final stages, but honestly, there's still a lot of work. And this thing has taken me a ton of time to get built. But that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions on how to build a cage, let me know.